Hey guys, I'm Jason Fun here, and today we have more unstable spoilers. Um, I released a video on Friday that had the first part of spoilers that were all the spoilers up until that point, and now today is Sunday, and there's more. So I'm going to go through these ones too because I, people seem to enjoy watching spoilers, I guess. Anyways, um, so the first one we have is Beast and Show. This is going to be one of the funniest arts I've ever seen in my life. And it is a 6-4 four for 6 with Trample, just a beast. It's a it's like a dinosaur with pink bunny ears and a pink necklace, and it's just really, really funny. And then the next one we have is Entirely Normal Armchair. So, Entirely Normal Armchair, um, during your turn, Entirely Normal Armchair, uh, if entirely a normal armchair is in your hand, you may hide it on the battlefield. You pay zero return entirely normal armchair to your owner's hand. Only any opponent may activate this ability and only if he or she sees entirely normal armchair. Pay two sacrifice entirely normal armchair and destroy target attacking creature. Kind of reminds me of the book from Harry Potter. I think that's kind of cool. And then next we have Garbage Elemental. It is a 2-4 for 5 with Frenzy 2. Whenever this creature attacks and isn't blocked, it gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. Garbage Elemental can't be blocked by wordy creatures. A creature is wordy if it has four or more lines of rules text. And then next we have Gift Horse. It's another contraption. Whenever you crank Gift Horse, roll two six-sided dice. Create a number of 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens equal to the difference between those results. That's pretty good. I think that's an alright one. And then another... Uh, augment creature we have is half squirrel half and whenever a non-token creature enters a battlefield and it has augment for one and it gets minus one minus zero I don't know why and then we have ninja which is another augment creature you may activate ninja's augment ability only anytime you can cast an instant or no you can, you can activate it anytime you can cast an instant whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player and it gets plus one plus oh and it has augment for three and then we have Old Buzzbark. So this reminds me of the card from Shadowmoor. It's the three goblins on the, the big log. Uh, goblin... I, I don't remember what it's called. Anyways, it's, it's like a 3-3 three, three for 3 with haste, and it was green and red hybrid symbols. And um, when it enters the battlefield, roll X six-sided dice onto the battlefield from a height of at least X inches. For each die... Put a number of plus one plus one counters on equal to the result of each result on each creature you control that die is touching. For each die, old buzz bark deals damage equal to the result to each creature an opponent controls that a die is touching. Okay, so you pay X, you hold the die X is it X inches above the board, and you drop all of them. For every creature on your side of the field that a die is touching, it gets that many plus one plus one counters, and for every die that is touching an opponent's creature, it takes that much damage. That's pretty good, that'd be a really fun card, I think. Then we have Old Fashioned Vampire. Old Fashioned Vampire is a 3-3 for 5 with flying, and it gets plus 2 plus 2 and has death touch as long as it's dark outside. Stalking hand or hardly stalking, am I right? Or stalking hard or hardly stalking, sorry. Oh. Um, proper laboratory attire is a one-drop equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two plus one and has protection from die rolls. Nothing that has player roll a die can block, target, deal damage, or uh, attach to the equipped creature. And has equipped for two. Then we have Quick Stick Lick Trick. Whenever you crank Quick Stick Lick Trick, target creature gets plus one plus one and gains lifelink until end of turn. That's a really creepy picture. And then we have really... <laughs> Really epic punch. It is a two drop sorcery. Target creature you control gets plus two plus two. If it's a host or has augment, then it fights target creature you don't control. It's it smarts more than the average bear. <laughs> okay, that's a great card. Then we have Refibulator or ref, 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 Today, Junior. Refibrillator. I think is how you say it. Anyways, whenever you crank it, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, refrigerator. Okay. And that 
art's really creepy too. Then we have Sacrifice Play. A person, it's a three drop instant. A person outside the game chooses an attacking or blocking creature. Target opponent controls. That player sacrifices that creature. Oh, that's evil. And then Serpentine. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, and it gets plus three plus three and has augment for three. Then we have Target Minotaur. Um, it is a 2 1 for 2 with prowess. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, it uh, gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn, and it says not again. And that's all we have for spoilers for today. Um, it, I think that this set's going to be so much fun to draft and so much fun to cube. And I might. I might be buying a little more than I thought I was going to buy originally because I'm starting to really like this set. I'm not going to buy a box, I know that much for sure. But definitely be on the lookout for openings of this because it looks really really fun anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a like it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't share this video on your facebook your twitter your reddit your instagram share it anywhere it really helps me out and i really appreciate all the support i've been getting thanks guys